Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today we're doing something a little different. Let me know what you feel about this. I have been shopping. <laughs> but it's not for what you think. I know I'm normally a beauty channel, but living as an American in Germany, I've had some really fun experiences shopping around Europe. And there's just a few things that I've been really loving lately, and I want to tell you about them because they're super fun. And I don't know, I was just thinking about doing a makeup fall favorites, but there's only three items of makeup that I've really been loving this fall, which is crazy to me. But because I'm doing like one month, one palette, like no eyeshadows are really kicked out to me and I'm trying to pan lipstick. So like only a few there have really done it for me. You guys know about some of my favorite foundations, like that's not new blush, highlight, I don't know, I just was feeling that there were only three things I really wanted to show you, but then there were some household things that I've just been loving, loving, and I want to share with you. So let me know what you think about this. Um, we're going to keep this nice and short. I know my intro is super long, but I'm going to show you my three favorite household things for this time of year and my three favorite beauty things this time of year. I'm calling it fall favorites, but like there might be a Christmas thing in here. <laughs> but let's start with the most fall of all. Now, I realize it's Thanksgiving time in the United States. However, there's no Thanksgiving in Germany <laughs> because it's not the United States. <laughs> but I have this awesome pumpkin. <laughs> okay, so the squirrel's not part of it. This is, I just stuck the squirrel in here because my husband thought it was hilarious to put a stuffed animal in this little guy. Um, but this is a pumpkin. It's hand painted. It's made in Poland. It's called Polish pottery. I had never heard of Polish pottery before I moved here to Europe, but a lot of Americans collect it. And while some patterns I find really beautiful, some patterns aren't really for me, um, but you can bake with it and whatever. But I saw this pumpkin, how I really enjoyed the humor behind it. I mean, look, there's a bee that says help. <laughs> Is that not, I call this the demented pumpkin and I just love it so much. Um, I think the company that made this one, Andar, was really creative and I really just love the fact that I have this now. This might still be up in my house even though <laughs> I've already started putting out my Christmas decorations, but like, come on now. My Angry Pumpkin is hilarious. I just love it so much. So I had to share that one. Like that one, 100% was a love. And I just wanted you all to appreciate my pumpkin as much as I appreciate my pumpkin. <laughs> love that thing. I didn't even buy a real pumpkin this year. I just bought that thing and stuck it outside and it was like the best. <laughs> oh my god, especially when Keith, my husband, stuck the squirrel head in there. I was like, oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> so good. Speaking of Christmas, Germany does Christmas so well. You guys know Germany is famous for their Christmas markets, which are outdoor markets that have many different booths that sell things and they have Glühwein, which is a hot mulled wine and you can get kinder punch which is the kid version of mulled wine which is just punch that's warm and there's all this good food and it's a great chance to buy some traditional and non-traditional holiday gifts there some of it's handmade some of it's commercially made one of my favorite things as you guys know because fred the red is always in the back there are nutcrackers and i just got a series of four new nutcrackers but they're so little <laughs> Like, look at this little guy. Oh my God, is he not adorable? Like, he's got his ax there. And I don't know, he just looks so cute to me. I love him. Um, and then I've got his, his friend, his brother, <gasps> holding his staff. Oh my gosh. So these are all hand painted, which is just so beautiful. Um, they're clearly, these little ones are not really made to crack nuts, but the big ones actually can. And I just love them. I just think nutcrackers are like the coolest thing that Germany has ever come up with. Um, probably a more traditional gift I see in more German homes would be the smoker, um, which is like this little, I don't know, you basically light incense in it and it has a hole to come out. Sometimes it's a smoking man, sometimes it's a house with a chimney, sometimes it's an animal, um, you know, whatever it might be. That's more traditional, but I just haven't fallen in love with those as much as I have nutcrackers. But uh, yeah, it's really fun. Now, I went to a Flo Mart the other day, and a Flo Mart is the German version and German name of like a flea market. It's where a bunch of people get together and they have like a yard sale all in one place because yard sales aren't really popular here in Germany. 
Um, occasionally Americans do it, but like Germans find that very bizarre. <laughs> so you pretty much just set up a table in a parking lot at a flow mart. You pay a small fee to have that table and then you sell your stuff there. And there's this woman selling her jewelry and I saw this and I was just like, I have to have it. And it was been perfect because it's just so unique and different. Yes, that's right. It's a beetle. <laughs> I love it so much. So it's a sterling silver beetle um, with some sort of stone in there. She said that it was not black diamonds. What did she say it was? I forget. She said it was a stone though. I don't, I love stones, but I didn't really recognize the stone that she mentioned, probably because it was in German and I don't know the German name for a lot of gemstones. But I just loved this little guy. It was great. I got this right before Halloween and it was so much fun to put like you know, this big beetle, like it was perfect. It was like bugs and well, it's not a spider, it didn't scare people, but it was unique enough that people still talked about it. And I just, I've never seen this before and I just thought it was so creative. And it's a pretty good size. In American size, it's like an inch and a little. Um, in European size, we're getting closer to like nine, 10 centimeters. So it's really, really good. My top three beauty favorites are probably going to be a bit of a surprise for you because I haven't really talked too much about any one of these products. The first one is Bioderma. Do you guys remember when this first came out in the United States? I was working at Alta at the time and my cellar waters were really picking up and everyone said that this one was the best but I never got my hands on it when I was in the United States. So when I came to Germany I had a bunch of makeup wipes I was trying to use up, so I didn't really test it then, but then I bought it probably now six months ago, and this 16 fluid ounces was 20 euro, euros, which is a steep amount, so I was hoping I wouldn't go this too fast, but look. Look how much I've used in like a month and a half, two months, like that, that I can get behind, and I feel like I'm creating less waste here. What I do is I take a tiny cotton pad instead of a makeup wipe, put some of this micellar water on it, take off my makeup, and it does a really good job. Now, because I wear such a full face of makeup, I do have to use two cotton pads, but I still feel like it's less than using makeup wipes, because sometimes I'd have to use two makeup wipes to get all my makeup off. And this stuff is so good. It's, makeup wipes don't only always get off my mascara, but this gets it off. Like, it's so good. It'll take off liquid lipstick, it'll take off eyeliner, it'll take off mascara, I'll take off, you know, the the primer you put under your mascara. This stuff is amazing. If you can find Bioderma, I know they sell it on Amazon to the States. This stuff is so good. Highly recommend. I'm going to be stocking up on this um, if I ever decide to leave Europe because this stuff is amazing. I'm going to continue using it because it does have a 12-month shelf life, and I think since this took me a month and a half to use up, I got another like three, four months out of it, and then it'll hit the 12-month mark. So I'm so excited that I found this. This micellar water is the best micellar water as a remover. It's easy, it's simple, you don't have to rinse your face afterwards, and I really love this product. I cannot recommend it enough to you, and I hope it doesn't bother your skin. The last two are lip products, because you know me, I just love lip products. The first one is this NYX Lingerie in the shade Embellishment. I've been digging this shade, I really have. I have been wearing this almost every day. And I just love the way it looks. It's perfect for the fall. It's this grayish tone. It works really well on my skin tone. Um, I am light skinned with a yellow undertone, but it just makes it look so unique and different. It's not what everyone else is wearing. Um, it does dry on the lips, which is like the one thing I probably would like to change about it. But I will say this, even though it dries out my lips throughout the day, I would 100% not change that color. I might change the formula a bit, but I haven't had anything else I like as much as this one in this color tone, and I think it's fantastic. I'm really looking forward to continuing to use this, and hopefully it doesn't go too fast because I might actually buy this one again. I know that sounds crazy. I know. Like, I'm hearing myself say that and be like, what? But it's that good. Like, I would buy this one again just for that color, even if it's drying. I wear it like every other day. I want to wear it every day, but I just can't because it's so drying, but... And it lasts for a really long time. This is a good five, six hour lipstick, which is good. Like I can eat through this and it's still fine. Like it still looks good. The other lip product was a surprise for me. This is a total surprise. This is the Marc Jacobs, oh gosh, I forgot what it was called. Uh, One Mauve Time Enamored. That is, really? That's the name? That's a horrible name. <laughs> 
That's the best what it says. Um, there's the hydrating lip gloss stick. I just bought this uh, a month ago, two months ago, <laughs> um, from Sephora, and it is so good. This formula is so nice. It's the exact opposite of that NYX lingerie. First of all, it's a matte. This has a shine to it. What you do is you click it up, you twist and click, and this is a very sheer lip product. So you kind of have to tap it onto the hand to get some opacity there. See, it's a shiny, they call it a lip gloss, but it's like you're, I don't know, it's a shiny lipstick, <laughs> but it's super shiny. But what I love about this is it's so easy to apply. It looks so healthy. There's one swipe of it. You can see it kind of drags a little bit. When you smush your lips together, it looks so good. It's healthy, it's refreshing, it's easy to apply. I know I have my lipstick on, but we're going to put a little on top of this because I just, I have to. I don't know what it is about it. There's just something really special about this formula. You have to be a little careful if you put too much on. You will get the strings, but I don't have the strings now. Um, it has a mint flavor to it, which is really nice. It smells a little like mint. And it feels hydrating on the lips. I don't know, like, I think it just changed my look, but made it so much better at the same time. Not that I didn't love the red, but I think this just... I don't know, it like takes my lips to the next level and makes them look shiny and plump and healthy. And it's winter time and my lips are, are starting to get dry, like drier and drier. I won't be able to wear that liquid lipstick forever <laughs> from NYX and this one just takes it up. It's not, it's not a color, it's not like a, the best color, most unusual color I've ever had. But there is something special about this formula and I can't quite put my finger on it. But I am loving it. I'm so glad I, that I bought um, this kit from Marc Jacobs that came with the bronzer and this, I hands down think it was an awesome purchase. And those, those are my top three makeup products and my top three home products at the moment. I'm like so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited for what this video represents. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know down below what are some things you've been loving. Like give me a home decor and your favorite makeup product for the season. And I'd be really interested in maybe checking those out. And if you are watching and you're from Europe, let me know what your country does to celebrate the holidays. Like what is something you always put up around your house or what you always eat. I'd be really interested in learning more about your culture. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And if I forget to say this again, know that we're starting the year off right. Happy holidays.